Hello everybody, welcome to Fruitful Trees. I've been wanting to make this video because lately people have been contacting me to come to the yards and check it out and kind of tell them what I'm thinking of their yard. And I'm from New York, I don't hold back. So uh, I see a lot of people making some mistakes that I've made as well. That's how I know they're mistakes. We learn from our mistakes and I want you to learn from my mistakes, not yours. I love tropical fruit trees and I'm so excited when people get a uh, new property and they just they're excited about building uh, and and growing trees. I just absolutely think it's a great idea and gardens and trees every house should have at least one but as many as possible as you could fit in. And that's what people want. They get that bug to and not like a bug but they get that bug to go and do it and uh to go and plant trees and a bunch of trees. And I've made many different changes, and I've played musical trees, moved trees around, took trees out. I had a big lang lang in front of this tree that I, I thought I loved, but it wasn't edible, so I took it out. I had coconuts that I thought I was going to get. This whole house, when I first moved here, I thought it was going to be just coconuts. I just wanted coconuts, coconuts, coconuts. I ended up getting seven, and I ended up taking all seven of those out. Uh, and so this video is about what trees not to plant if you only have a small property okay so there's this isn't for a big property if you have a big property plant as many trees you want and as many varieties and as many seedlings whatever but if you have a small property you can only fit a certain few and when i go to these properties the last two properties i went to i saw them making what i consider mistakes and i didn't want them to make mistakes so i made this list of a small property. When I say a small property, I'm thinking definitely under an acre, maybe a half an acre. The average size yard today is maybe a quarter acre. So between a, a quarter and a half an acre, what not to plant? So a half an acre or less, what you shouldn't plant. Now, we'll do other videos about what I think the best things are to plant. And people often ask me about if they have a small property, can they grow in pots? You can grow in pots, but it's very time consuming to grow in pots. You know, unless you have water on them, a water source that's on them and you don't have to water them. But the things definitely I don't recommend you plant is number one is seedlings. I see a lot of people making this mistake and they're getting seedlings of avocados and mangoes and other jackfruits and everything. And when you have a big property, you could plant plant seedlings and maybe they'll come out good, maybe not. You're not really wasting space. But you know how to say real estate is everything? Well, when you have a small property, uh, you really have to be thoughtful about what you put in the ground. And a seedling may turn out good, it may not. You just don't know. So you want to be more sure of what you're going to get. So I definitely recommend, number one, don't plant seedlings. Plant grafted trees. That's my first suggestion. So two trees I don't recommend planting if you have a space and half an acre or less is longings or leeches. Now, I'm not complaining about the fruit. I love longings and I love leeches, but they are trees that take up a lot of space. And leeches, you don't even guarantee you're going to get fruit every year. So for the amount of space, for the amount of fruit you're going to get, I just don't think it's a wise thing to plant those two trees, longings and leeches. They grow way fast, real big. Uh, they're hard to keep short. And... I don't think it's a good thing if you have a small space and you want like more than one tree. Now, if you have a half an acre and you only want one tree and you want it to be a leche or long in, have fun. But if you want a bunch of trees, I don't recommend long in a leche. The next thing is, is uh, bananas. Bananas are one of those things that where I went to the last two properties and they were so excited about their bananas and so was I. I had so many banana trees and I think... Per tree, the amount of fruit you get on a banana in terms of how quickly they grow, probably quicker and more abundant than any other fruit. You see, papayas you'll get pretty quickly, but not like bananas. Bananas will just, you'll get a lot of bananas. But the reason I don't recommend them for a small space, and people are surprised when I don't recommend bananas. You don't recommend bananas? Recommend bananas? They take up a lot of space and they are, they're high maintenance. They keep growing, and if you don't stay on them, you're going to have your whole yard full of bananas. And you might not think that's a bad idea, but they're very uh, uh, labor-intensive compared to other fruit trees. 
I don't recommend bananas. You can get smaller fruit trees. You see, here the thing is, again, if you have a big yard, go ahead and get bananas. But if you have a small yard and everything's like close together, and you have a banana tree, even if it's a small one, but especially the big ones, you're supposed to cut them every time you get a stalk. And those banana trees fall when you cut them, and they can fall right on one of your good trees. Uh, so I'm always praying when I was cutting one of my big banana stalks down that it wouldn't hit one of the trees. Uh, even when you take the bananas down, you have that problem. I don't recommend bananas. I love bananas. Bananas are another thing you can buy in the store. Uh, they're re readily available, so it's another reason maybe you don't want to use your precious space on something you could regularly get in the store. Yes, I know they don't taste the same. I know bananas taste much different and better when you grow them at home. Maybe on a corner of some of your property, possibly, but I don't recommend bananas. And you might have a different opinion about this. That's good for you. I've just been doing this a while now, and I find if you want to keep your yard uh, looking good with the most stuff, bananas is something I, I wouldn't suggest. In my yard here, it's about three quarters of an acre. I have, I've gotten rid of most of my bananas. I have two left in the corner there. Uh, and I'm only going to let them grow one stalk all up. But... Yeah, they're not easy to get rid of <laughs> if you don't want them. The other thing I don't recommend for a small space, and you can take your own opinion and do what you want, is anything to do with a vine. Passion fruit vines, muscadine grape vines, regular grape vines. Vines are messy. Uh, and, and this one, I'd probably say, even if I had a big space, I don't want anything to do with vines. Vines are messy. I love passion fruit. I don't want a passion fruit vine. I, I had it. What a mess. What a mess. They keep growing. They're a mess. Some of you are going to put comments below this and say, no, this guy's crazy and I love my stuff and I grow this with no problem. Good for you. But I'm giving you my experience from what I've seen. Things to avoid. Okay. Uh, two more things. Oh, three more things. The next one is wax jambu. I had a wax jambu tree, a really nice one. I was so excited about it. I heard it gives more fruit than any other tree when it grows up. There was one at a local nursery that was tons, tons of fruit. Somebody told me they got rid of their wax jambu. I told them, I asked them why. They said because they, they always got bugs in them. Fruit that has uh, gets worms or bugs in them regularly. I'm not saying they're not good fruit or not good trees, but when you have a small space, real estate is really important. So, when you take everything into consideration, you don't want half of your fruit going away to worms or other types of bugs. And that might also be true for guava. So, I might add another tree to my list, guava. Many varieties of guava get worms. So, be careful with that. Uh, so, maybe I'll put guava on the list. Unless you get a guava that's known not to get worms. But you don't want to end up having to bag your fruit if you don't need to when there's so many other fruits out there. The other one I spoke about, and for me, it was a heartbreaker, but coconuts. Coconuts. My, my wonderful neighbor has a bunch of coconuts across the street, and they look great, and I took down my coconuts. They would just kept growing and growing and growing. And people say, well, what if you get the small ones? Then they won't grow that much. Well, the small ones, they grow so far out. I mean, you can't, that's going to take up all your space. If you have a big one, it's going to take up all your sun, and you're going to have a tough time getting the coconuts down. If you have a small one, it's going to just take up all your space. I had my whole front yard lined in coconuts. I got rid of all of them. Probably the number one, it's not really a fruit, it's a nut, right? But the number one thing I consume on a regular basis, or was consumed, was probably coconuts. It was really difficult for me, but I can get them everywhere. They're available. And for the amount of space I wanted... It just took up too much space, and they became way too time-intensive to, to go and get them down all the time. And I'm, I'm pretty active, and I was like, I don't care. I'll go there. I'll climb the tree, whatever. It got to a point where I had other trees so close to the coconut. Every time I cut a coconut stalk, oh, coconuts down, I was like, oh, please don't hit that tree. <laughs> so my neighbor planted them, his moors towards the street, and that's okay, but in another year or two, they're going to be way too tall, and his... His theory is he's just going to plant a smaller one next to it now, so when he has to cut that one down, another one will be growing. Okay, I mean, if you're going to do it, at least it's out of his yard, but I don't want to deal with coconuts. Again, I wish I had a big property 
and I would have coconuts, I'd have I'd bananas, I'd have, probably not have wax shampoo, but I'd have, and I wouldn't have vines, but I'd have maybe a lychee and a longan as well. But definitely I would have coconuts and bananas if I had a, a, a super big property. The other thing I wanted to mention is if you have a big property, I mean a small property, I, I did a video about this the other day, you don't need that many of the same fruit. Maybe different varieties, but you don't need that many, especially star fruit. Star fruit grows really big. It's a wonderful fruit. It gives a lot of food. But star fruit is not something that uh, you need two of, even if it's different varieties. You don't need two star fruit. So you just got to learn which trees you need and which ones you don't. Uh, and if you're suspect, you can grow some stuff in pots like I do. And I have some ideas of things that I might be removing in the future or maybe not and you got to figure out how to close to plant everything but so these are some things that that I'm not recommended now if you live in South Florida I'm not recommending you put figs in the ground I know some of you that are rocking the figs think I'm crazy but the nematodes here will mess with the the figs uh, so you can grow figs in pots that's the other thing if you can grow in pots even though it's time inten uh, intensive you know Grow some stuff in pots if you need to. I'm growing a, a, a few things in pots. I mean, I've gotten rid of a lot of things, but I'm growing some figs and I'm growing the pomegranate and a few things in, in pots. Uh, so those are just some of the things that I have found through my experience that uh, I see people making common mistakes with when they're getting a, a property uh, is planting these things if they only have a small amount of space. So things like... You know, mangoes and avocados, you can keep relatively small. Uh, and things like mame grow big, but they're not too laborious. You just got to keep them watered. And I have some persimmon trees. I have three persimmon trees. I'm waiting to see on those how they're going to do. I hear they don't do good well for for maybe five or six years and then they go crazy, but I'm waiting. Uh, they're growing each more each year. Uh, other than that, I mean, I've learned a lot and uh, from my own trial and error. And I know my neighbor and I, we both had jackfruit trees last year that we didn't ground like six years and they didn't do anything. So we got rid of them. Uh, I definitely think I might have planted too many jackfruit here, but I don't have the heart to take those out. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, sour sops a nice tree. I had three seedlings, uh, no, three grafted that I had to take out. They just weren't, weren't, weren't doing the job. They weren't getting any fruit. But then I had one or two that, that did the job. So I have several sour sop. You don't need a lot. You could fit a lot of different varieties. But I saw this video recently where uh, a YouTuber went to somebody's house and in the front yard they had like two longans right next to each other. They had a guava and they had bananas and I'm like, oh, what are they doing? They had a coconut like right next to a longan and I'm like, this is not going to work out too well. Uh, and, and and then they had a seedling of something. I'm like, and they only had like a less than a quarter acre. I was like, no. And then I went to another house. They had a non-edible plant right in front of the house, which is a beautiful spot for a mango or something. And they, they had a guava and they had like three or four coconuts right in their front yard next to each other. And it's like, no, get rid of those. Go put something good in. So, yeah, I don't want to make any haters here. Like I said, I love all fruits and I, I, I think we should strive to get bigger yards so we can have more fruit trees. But if you only have a small space, from my experience, those are things that I wouldn't put in. in, in. And what's your experience and uh, with these things? And tell me if you agree or disagree with my assessment of what I'm telling you. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and share if you like or whatever. You know all that stuff. All right. Have a great day, everybody, and keep growing.